friends, Naturalist Cat here. I wanted to show you something exciting that happened to me. I've come out to my garden to check on it and get it ready for a cold spell tonight so I can cover up my plants for the night to keep them safe. And I found a surprise that I think is going to make for a great hike today. So let's check out the surprise. So I came into my garden to look at my plants and see how they were doing on this very cold April day. And in the fairy garden of my garden, of my veggie garden, look what I found. It's an egg with some words on it. It says, crack open for a game. Huh, I wonder who put this here. Well, let's, let's crack it open and see what it is. Oh, oh, inside. Let's see, there's something written. Let's see if we can read it. It says, come play a game with us. We've hidden eggs with clues all around so you can learn about critters who lay eggs. Find all the clues to figure out who made the game. Oh, and then look, here's a clue. Well, let me read it to you. It says, you will find your next clue egg with some feathered friends who lay eggs. These feathered waterfowl can come in different shapes, sizes, and colors. Some are divers and some are dabblers for food. You will find your next clue egg near these creatures. <gasps> hmm, I wonder. Waterfowl, and they lay eggs, and I look up, and look who's over there. Oh, uh, we'll have to think who made this game for us. What fun! All right, let's go look for the egg. So I've come over to investigate with these waterfowl if they know anything about this game because these are ducks. Now these are domestic ducks, but ducks come in the wild in all shapes and colors and some of them dive for fish or food and others dabble, which means they just kind of stick their head down to look for insects that live underwater or grasses or food or other plants. But my ducks get their food from me. There's their food bowl right there. And so I decided, because they wouldn't tell me anything, to look around their cage and see if I see any eggs, clues. Hello. Hello, Fred. Do you know anything? Will you tell me anything about the game? How about you, Joey? Will you tell me anything? Nothing, huh? All right, guess I'll have to look around for myself. Whoa, whoa. Oh, what is this? There is an egg. Well, let's crack it open. And we'll give the eggshells to the ducks because they'll eat them. I'll put them, let's see, I'll put you right, sorry gang, I'll put you right here while I feed the ducks some eggshells because they like to eat them while I get the clues out. Here's some eggshells, friends. There you go. And our clue, let me unwrap it, says, oh, let me turn you right around. It says, you will find your next egg at the spot where you saw a really neat reptile. While most reptiles like this do not, this lay eggs, the kind you saw gives birth to live babies. This reptile is found all over Maryland. It can be a little aggressive, but it is not venomous. What is it? And will you will find it at the spot you last saw it. Well, I remember a certain slithery friend who we found and took a walk with. So let's go over to that spot. So friends, I've come back to where we saw that garter snake the other day and there's no garter snake. It's so cold today, it's been snowing. And so I wouldn't expect to see a snake because there's not a lot of warmth to get out here. But I do see a trail where I think maybe the snake comes out here often. But I don't see an egg clue. Let's see. In my tree tube? Nope. Not down there. <gasps> Friends, 
Do you remember when the snake hid under this tree tube that I haven't fixed yet? I wonder if that could be where the egg is. Let's go look. Let's see. There it is, our clue. So let's break it open and read the clue. We'll leave this here to compost and de decompose and here's our clue. Well, it's a little gooey. Your next egg will be found at the log where you found the insects that eat wood. These insects live together with kings and queens that lay eggs. They are found on every continent except Antarctica. What are they? Hmm, find your next clue where you last saw them. <gasps> termites! I remember our insect termites. Let's go to the log. So, friends, here we are. This is the log where we last saw those termites, and I just noticed something really fun. Look, there's plants growing in the end of the log. It makes a little planter. Now, I don't see the egg anywhere, so I wonder if they hid it under the log. Let's see. <gasps> There it is, and look, it's already opened. So let's crack it open some more. I'll use this tree to crack it open. I'll just leave the egg, somebody will eat it. Let's see, you will find your next clue at the spot where a feathered friend is making a home. The home you search for is in a branch and looks like it has grasses in it. Different animals use different materials and nests materials and styles to make these. They are used to keep eggs safe and warm. What is it? Your next clue is there. I already said the word. Let's go look at the nest in our sit spot tree. So friends, I found the nest. Oh, it's getting so windy. I hope that nest is safe up there. It sure looks like it. It's a pretty big nest with lots of grasses. Let's see if we can zoom in. It's right there. I don't think that whoever made this game would put the egg inside of it. So I wonder if we should look around somewhere near the tree. Those are too tall for me to get to. Let's look. Oh, I spy something. Here it is. Here's our clue. Let's crush it. Oh, that's my favorite part. Oh, it's getting so windy. Let's see if we can read the clue when it's so windy. Oh, hang on, friends. Oh, goodness. I hope I don't blow away. Good thing I wore my winter coat. All right, I'm unwrapping it. I'm unrolling it and it says, clue number five. The next egg is where you spotted a slimy friend. This friend makes mucus, a mucus trail to move across the land. This critter has tentacles and lays around 30 eggs in the ground. What is the critter and where did you find it? Huh, a slimy friend that leaves a mucus trail. I remember the slug that we found on our night hike. All right, let's go to the wood cookie. So friends, I've come back to my wood cookie where I'm pretty sure we saw the slug. Let's just peek and see if it's there. Hello, anyone home? Oh goodness, this is where we saw the slug. I remember it was back in the grass, but since we know it's been traveling, but look, there's the baby beetle. He's moving. He probably was laid from an egg too. And we have another creature, I think a millipede and some ants. Oh, oh, there's a millipede moving along. Well, I don't see the egg under here, so let's look around. Hmm, there's a weird pile of grass right there. Maybe we should, oh, look, it's a camouflaged egg. Look, we could make a nest for it. There you go, little egg, there's a nest. And now we will crush you so we can get our clue. Clue number six. Your next clue can be found where a special amphibian lives. This critter, this critter 
song sounds like a snore. This amphibian lays egg masses that can have between 700 to 3,000 eggs. Oh my goodness. What is this critter and where does it live to find the last clue? Hmm. I think I know where. Let's go. So my friends, I've come to my pond because just the other day when I was out here gardening, I saw my pickerel frog that likes to hang out here and their call sounds like a snore, like It's really cool. Now it wasn't singing because I don't think it's quite warm enough, but so let's take a look around. Let's see, no eggs, no egg masses. Do you spy the egg? Do you see it? <gasps> there it is, right here, right where I saw the pickerel frog. So let's come over here and smash it. All right, and get the clue out. All right, this is our last clue, they said. To find out who made, hang on, let me unroll it. Who made this scavenger hunt? You need to find a critter that does not lay eggs. Hmm, this animal is a mammal. There are both wild and domestic kinds of this critter. They are known for their large ears, fluffy tail, and, oh, this is hard to do in the wind, hang on, and jumping ability. Find one of us for your surprise. Okie dokie, do you have any ideas? I think I do. Friends, guess who did this? Guess who made us the game? That's right, it's the bunnies. And look what they left us for treats. They left us bunny treats and carrots. Of course that's what a bunny would leave us. Oh, see you later, Wabbit. Well, friends, wasn't that a neat game? Those thoughtful bunnies to make me a game that I could play today. I think I might have to share those rabbit treats and carrots with them though. Woo, it's getting so windy and it's snowing. Do you it's snowing, I promise. So friends, this is a game that you could make for your family. All you need are some eggs or something to hide clues in. And I hope that you get outside this weekend and enjoy some spring because April has weird weather. But look, the tree's blooming. All right, friends, I want to give a shout out to Olivia for knowing that a nocturnal animal, one kind of nocturnal animal, animal is a raccoon. Good job, Olivia. Thanks for hiking along with me or playing along with me today, friends. And I'll see you later. Bye.